Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you guys a method that I use to keep my turtle tanks and tubs as clean as I possibly can and avoid having to create more maintenance for the filters and whatnot than I really need to and eliminating as much waste as possible. Basically taking some preventative measures to make less maintenance for myself in the future. Real quickly though, if you like me and you like my turtles and you like what I have going on here, consider hitting the link up here and heading over to my Patreon where I upload videos videos a day early for most people and have tons of background behind the scenes content. You get added to the list right here of lovely people. You can get discounts on merch, ask me questions directly, check out turtles when I have them available, which some should be coming up soon and all kinds of other fun stuff. Also, you can get merch, which I have somewhere. I'm not wearing it right now, but I have some cool shirts and whatnot. Hit the link right up over there to get links to all of that kind of fun stuff. Anyway, so let's get started with this stuff. Now, normally I do this at the end, but first off, what am I even talking about? How do we eliminate as much waste as possible from this little 75 gallon turtle pond. And the way that we're gonna do this is by feeding in a separate enclosure. So let me discuss the basic idea of what we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna take this container right here and I'm gonna siphon water from in this main tub into here. Then I'm going to add their normal food and then I'm gonna pull out the turtles two, three or four at a time and put them in here and let them eat to satiation. Then when all is said and done, I will take this bucket here and replace the displaced water. I'm actually gonna do that step first and just overfill it for right now and then drain the water because I don't know I'm impatient and I just want to do that step first. Now I'm also going to take this tube and take this little thing which basically creates a suction and it will create a vacuum or a siphon so that way I can pull the water out from the main pond into this little mini enclosure. And there, now we're rolling. And let me explain a little bit more about this entire process. As you can see, my turtles are coming over and begging for food from me. So it makes the process really easy as far as pulling them out. If you have a larger tub or a larger pond or your turtles are difficult to access, this might not be a method that you would want to consider. It may be worth it though if you don't feed them very frequently and if your turtles are super messy. Like these terrapins are extremely messy eaters. When they chew their pellets, they sort of make a mess everywhere. But some species like snapping turtles, they just kind of take down their food really quickly and without question. Now we will expertly open this up with just one hand, toss our food in here. Oopsie diddle. I didn't mean to put that in. That is a feeder block. Normally I only use that when, well, okay. Well, it's good calcium and whatever. Okay, well, if they don't eat it, so be it. We're gonna keep adding the pellets and normal stuff. Anyway, we're gonna pretend like that didn't just happen. Oh man. Basically that block, if I put it in the enclosure, it gives them good calcium and whatnot, but it makes a freaking mess. So anyway, like I was saying, as I pull these guys out, what feeding in a separate enclosure does, come here, blueberry. Hi, beautiful. So what this does is, well, I guess I'll put them all in right now. They all eat fairly well. Here you go. First of all, what I just did, like when I am done with this food, I take it out into my grass and I dump it into the lawn. So we're doing a partial water change. We're pulling out, this is maybe three or four gallons of water that I'm pulling out here. So we're doing a partial water change. That's why I added water here in the first place. So that way I would fill it up to past where I want it and then I can drain it back down. So I don't have to replace the displaced water. So now what I'm doing is these guys, when they chew, they make make a freaking mess usually. When they're really hungry like this, they will take down these pellets just like that and not really make a mess. But when they start, you know, picking at the pellets where they're kind of hungry, but not totally convinced that they want to eat, they start getting messy. And when they get messy, that stuff and debris gets everywhere and all over your enclosure. And it ends up getting in your filters and making a mess. And then you will have to do maintenance sooner. You'll have to clean out your filter way before you normally would. So not only am I avoiding waste getting in the filter, but I'm also also doing a partial water change at the same time. All of that and I'm letting my turtles eat to satiation. I do this when they're under a year old, that way they eat a whole bunch and they will grow much quicker than normal. And so these are all the benefits of feeding in a separate enclosure. You know, I can let them eat to satiation. I can make sure that each individual turtle eats to their fill and nobody's getting left behind. I can ensure proper growth by taking the runt and maybe having them eat a little bit extra. And I can preserve my water quality and all that fun stuff.
stuff. But now we should probably discuss some of the negatives and why you should consider feeding in a separate enclosure and whether or not it's the right choice for you. Right now, these terrapins are tolerating me. Do you see? That right there is Waffle and she just gave me a look. Essentially what that was is she is being cautious of me because I'm sitting here hovering over watching her eat. The hungrier the terrapins are, the more willing they are to eat in an unfamiliar habitat. This is usually why I will walk away when feeding them because after they start eating to their fill, they're not so hungry anymore that they're gonna look past the giant weirdo sitting over them watching them eat. That's basically saying that turtles usually won't eat as much in a separate enclosure as they will in their normal enclosure. For me though, that little trade-off is worth it because of how much maintenance it saves me in the end. Also, if your turtle is not used to eating in a separate enclosure, it might be difficult to get them to eat in one. You might wanna start with feeding foods that are very high in protein or ones that usually turtles won't turn down, like fresh foods or fish, shrimp, worms, or things like that. I've raised these terrapins since they were hatchlings, and so I've raised them and put them in a separate feeding enclosure since they were extremely young. Therefore, they're used to being put in a separate enclosure and eating. Older turtles or terrapins may not be as willing to eat in a separate feeding enclosure if they are not used to it and they're used to feeding in their tank. If this is the case, you'll just have to keep putting them in a separate tub with food every day until one day, much like picky eaters, they will begin eating. Now, what I usually do is I will step away from these turtles while they're eating because that way they're not stressed out from me watching over them. That way they can eat as much as they want. You can see little Blondie there is definitely getting agitated that I'm sitting over her and she's going to want out of this enclosure. So we're going to pull her out and the others are going to get a little bit stressed. But watch what happens when I put her in the enclosure. Just wait. She's going to turn around and come right back and start begging for food again. Okay, well, usually she does. So this is what I mean when I say that they will eat more in their enclosure than they would in a separate feeding tub. Here she comes and watch this. If I take a little bit of food right here, we plop it in the water. She's going to go eat it. And there she just snagged another one. See, so she's eating more in the enclosure than she does in the separate feeding tub. But when she eats out here, she makes a mess. So regardless, that's a little tip for you guys to get your turtles to eat in a separate feeding tub. It's definitely way more difficult to acclimate adults compared to hatchlings that are used to it. And then you raise them using this method into adulthood. I'm gonna go step away for a little bit as these guys finish eating. But I just wanna mention the hungrier your turtles are, the more tolerable they will be of you sitting around them or the more that they'll eat in a separate feeding enclosure. If I had fed these guys to satiation the same way yesterday, they would not be eating nearly this much food. But because it's been about two days since I've done this and normally I'll just throw a couple pellets in the tub on lazy days when I don't feel like doing this whole process, they're way more hungry than usual. They didn't get to eat to their fill and so they're taking their time and eating a lot. And I'm gonna step away to allow them to be comfortable and eat as much as they possibly want to. Because when they're young like this, usually they won't get fat or they won't get pudgy like a Adults will quickly put on weight, especially in reptiles, especially in turtles, but juveniles like this, they just grow more. And these little terrapins let me know that they're done because they try crawling out through the sides of this feeding container when they are finished. So come here, little ones. And then look, they come right back and try begging for some food. And I always reinforce this because I usually end up throwing some of this leftover food in here anyway. So now I'm gonna take this outside and just dump it in the grass. Also, that extra water is extremely nutrient rich. So you can see it was more apparent earlier in the year, but places where I dump my turtle water, like right here, it's extremely lush and good grass. And further elsewhere, it's kind of bare. Look at the little newborn baby fish. Hello there, friends. So in a tank like this, there's a lot of water volume compared to my two little baby hatchling spotted turtles that live in here. And so in a situation like this, you could see one of them peeking over the top. I don't mind feeding in the enclosure because they don't make that much of a mess. Not only are they not that messy, I have plenty of fish in here to clean up any of the scraps of food. Like one little water change or cleaning the filter in here and doing a water change on this little tank because these guys are still young is extremely easy when compared to something like this big old terrapin pond. Basically, it's a lot easier to feed hatchlings in the enclosure rather than larger turtles or terrapins. I also just, you know, I'm more comfortable. So terrapins are way more friendly than little baby spotted turtles so baby spotted turtles are more comfortable. They're more comfortable in and feeding in this enclosure. So for more skittish species like they are, I am just fine with feeding them in the enclosure and then just doing maintenance later, especially because they're so small, it's not really a big deal. So yeah, I just usually take some, some pellets, maybe some in here, 
and just kind of break them up and toss them in here for these little baby spotted turtles. And what they'll do is they'll come out and start eating. Normally they're up at the front begging, but I think that they're hiding right now. Also normally I'll throw, oh sorry buddy, I scared him. Uh, I'll throw a little dish underneath Butternut and that way he doesn't like pick up any icky nasties on his little pieces of fruit or whatever I decide to feed him for the day. But recently I've been kind of lazy, so I sometimes just toss it on a cleared spot of his enclosure and he really seems to enjoy it. So he's got a nice little tomato there that he'll munch crunch on. I keep his enclosure by changing out the sphagnum moss once every month or so and doing a big water change and spot cleaning and removing any little fecal matter that I find. And yeah, that's just ways that I keep my turtle enclosures clean and you can too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something and I'll see y'all in the next one.